Hi everyone, I'm so glad you could join us for this year's volleyball camp and I'm so sad that we we're not able to do it in person. I didn't get to see you all this year. It's always so much fun, but I am excited that you get to do all of the things we're about to show you at your own home. So I encourage you guys to watch these videos. If you need to pause it to do any of the drills or to go get a water break or anything like that, definitely pause it and then just continue as we go along. Every day at some point throughout the camp, there's going to be a challenge. And if you complete this challenge and you record yourself and send it in to me, then you will have the chance to earn a volleyball prize. It might be a t-shirt or it might be a water bottle or a volleyball keychain or something volleyball related. So that'll be super fun. You'll get it in the mail if you are the winner. So my name is Coach Vanderkui and I coach the 9th through 12th grade volleyball teams here at SCS and I hope that any of you who are watching this today stick with volleyball because it is the best sport ever and that you play it when you get into 9th through 12th grade. That would be so awesome. With me today I have Coach Jordan and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself. Hi, I'm Jordan. I graduated from SCS in 2017. Um, I go to Greenville University. Go Panthers! Um, I am a rising senior. I set for Greenville and yeah. Awesome! If you need more help or you have questions about any of these drills, feel free to email me. My email address will be posted in a video when we explain the challenge. You can contact me at any time and I would love to help you out with some of these drills. So let's get started! Okay, today we're going to talk about passing. And passing is really, really important in volleyball. In order to have a good pass, you have to have good form. So Jordan is going to show us what good form when you're passing looks like. So the first thing you want to think about is your feet. Your feet need to be underneath your shoulders, shoulder width apart, and one foot is going to be slightly in front of the other, and she's going to bend her knees. She's going to get down nice and low. So when we're passing, this is the first thing we think about, getting a good wide base. Your feet are underneath your shoulders and you're low. You're always low. Okay. Next thing is your arms. Go ahead and show us how your arms are going to be. When you're passing, you want your arms to um, not interlock with your, your fingers and you're not going to cross your thumbs. You're going to make like a, we call it like a cinnamon roll because it looks kind of like an ooey gooey cinnamon roll right there. And then you're going to grab outside of your fist with your other hand and your thumbs are going to be in a straight line. Okay? You're going to point your thumbs down toward the ground. And so her platform, this is what we call this part right here, it's really flat. It's nice and flat and the ball is going to hit right about there, okay? The first drill we're going to do is called the knee down drill. So Jordan's going to get down on one knee and you need a helper, a family member or a friend who can toss the ball to you. And Jordan is on one knee. I'm going to toss the ball to her and she's focusing on her arms, okay? So I'm going to toss it a very gentle rainbow toss and she's going to pass it back to me. 
And now when you pass, I'm going to have Jordan demonstrate this. You're going to pass and you're going to hold. You're going to freeze right where you pass. Great. So now when you pass, you always want to be communicating with your teammates. I know you don't have any teammates with you right now, but this is good practice for the fall. So you're going to always say mine or got it, or you're going to say something before you go to pass the ball. All right, let's try it again. Mine. Good. Mine. Nice. Mine. Great. I would do as many as you want, 25 of those, 50 of them, 100 of them. The more you do, the better you're going to get. That was our knee down drill. Now we're going to do a pop-up drill. So Jordan's going to be back down on her knee. I'm going to slap the ball. And when I slap the ball, she's going to pop up into her loaded, ready position. Okay? Mine. Oops, sorry. Mine. Yeah, she's popping up as soon as I snap it. Mine. Notice how her passes are nice and high. So I have time to get there if I need to. They're all coming above my head. So this is the sideways knee down drill and Jordan is going to be facing um, her right, <laughs> my left. She's going to be facing one direction and I'm going to pass her the ball. Since it's not coming straight onto her body, it's coming from the side and she's going to angle her shoulder down. She's going to pass sideways to me. All right. So this is what it's going to look like. What happens if she doesn't angle her shoulders down? Where's it gonna go? It's gonna go somewhere else, right? <laughs> so you always wanna angle your shoulders down in the direction that you're trying to pass the ball. And so then she would turn around and face the other way and do it the same amount of times facing the other way. This is the touch and go drill. So Jordan's gonna come up, she's gonna touch the ball. She's gonna shuffle back. Notice how she didn't look away from the ball. She didn't turn her back, she shuffled backwards. She's going to touch the ground so that she gets nice and low. And when she's low, she's going to pass an imaginary ball. Mine. And then she's going to run up and touch the ball and do it again. Shuffle, pass, touch, shuffle, touch the ground, pass. Perfect. The next version, Jordan's going to actually pass the ball that I toss her. So she's going to run up and touch it. This is the run through drill. Sometimes the ball is not right to you, so you've got to run to the ball. When you run to the ball, you want to make sure you don't hit it like crazy, right? So I'm going to toss the ball right in front of me, and Jordan's going to run up to the ball. She's going to plant her feet. She's not going to keep running. She's going to plant her feet, pass it right up to me without sending it far back. Sometimes in volleyball, the ball is coming really fast and really low, and you don't have much time to get to it. So we're going to practice a little bit of diving. This is perfect for those of you who found a sand court, or if you're in the backyard or the front yard and you've got nice grass to cushion you, don't practice this on the sidewalk or the driveway. It's going to hurt a lot. So um, normally if you're in the gym floor, you want to have knee pads on or something like that. But grass and sand is perfect for this. So, I'm going to hold the ball far away from Jordan. She's going to be down low. She's ready. Here comes a really fast, low ball. She's got to dive to get it. So she's going to be down low and ready to go. And this ball is kind of coming to her right. And so she's going to take a big step with her right foot, as big as she can. She's going to reach forward to touch the ball. And then she's going to fall onto her outside of her thigh. And since she's down there, she's just going to roll on the ground and pop back up. 
the role helps you get up really fast so you're ready for the next play and to get out of the way of your teammates. So we'll try a little bit of a faster version this time. She's going to take a big step. She's going to reach, fall onto the outside of her thigh, and roll up. Awesome. Try those at home. The more you can do them, the easier they'll be when you're in the game and you have to put it into practice. So a lot of times in volleyball, the ball does not come directly to you, so you've got to get it from side to side. So Jordan's going to show us how we shuffle um, on the court. She's going to shuffle left and right, back and forth. When you feel like you've got it, you can shuffle with Jordan. The whole time she's staying nice and low. Now let's do it from this way to this way so we can see it clearly. Notice how Jordan does not shuffle with her arms connected. Her arms are out here so that she can move more freely. For this drill, I'm gonna to toss the ball to different sides and Jordan has to shuffle to the ball and pass it right back to me. Sometimes you're going to have to take a step forward or a step back. You have to adjust to wherever the ball is. Today's challenge is going to be a passing challenge. You have to see how many times you can pass to yourself in a row without letting the ball drop. This does not count. They have to be above your head, preferably up a lot higher. So Dora and I are going to demonstrate. You want to see if you can do it without having to move all around the court while you're passing. The more you can keep it to yourself, the easier it's going to be. Awesome. So you can send, send me a recording of yourself passing to yourself and put the total number that you got in the email. You can send it to katievanderkooi at schomburgchristian.com and the winner will get their special prize in the mail.